This video tutorial from ExoCAD will show all the features of the Smile Creator module. To begin, run the Dental DB application. The first step shows how to set up a case to be used with Smile Creator from the start. Note, there is a user guide indicating how to proceed. Now select a client, Dentist, from the drop down list. The ellipsis button allows you to add a new client or to select from the existing client list. Enter the name of the patient or case. Use the comma to separate the first name and surname. You can use the ellipsis button to enter the patient's details. Select the technician the same way you have selected the client. Note, the technician field is not mandatory. Select the numbered tooth you want to design. In case you just want to do a smile planning on an unprepped pre-op model, simply choose Anatomic Pontix. The exported STL can then be used in future projects to design the restoration. If you'd like to use the Smile Creator on pre-prepped teeth, other restoration types can be chosen, such as coping, anatomical crown, eggshell crown, veneer, or virtual anatomic wax up. Choose your desired material. In this case, we're choosing acrylic. Finish the restoration definition by clicking the OK button. Hold Control and click left mouse button on the number tooth to copy this restoration type and parameters. Hold Shift and click left mouse button on the number tooth of the jaw to copy this restoration type and its parameters on a series of teeth. Then click the Save button to continue. When using an integrated scanner, continue by selecting Scan from the Actions icon. This will be shown in a separate video. We will proceed with one of our demo samples to show you a case with Smile Creator on pre-prepped teeth with restoration. Click on the Load button at the top of the Dental DB window. Choose the demo sample called Smile Creator Sample, then click on the Load button again. Note, the restoration type selected for this case is coping, with zirconia as the material. So we could continue to design copings after Smile Creator. This sample job definition includes antagonist and the adjacent teeth. Next, choose Design from the Action menu to start the CAD application. The software automatically starts a wizard that will guide you through all the work steps. Skip the Correct the Pre-Op Scan Position by selecting Next. Pre-Op Scan Position will be shown in a separate video. Click on the Smart Smile Creator button to start the Smile Creator now. Note, it is possible to start Smile Creator at any stage and for other types of restorations by selecting Smile Creator from the tools. We can proceed by only using the smile image, which is a faster approach, but we recommend the use of a retracted image as well to capture all the necessary information. You can use the camera icon for taking a photo directly from a connected camera or webcam. If different cameras are connected, you'll need to choose the desired camera. Alternatively, you can load an image from the file. Load the retracted image. As soon as you load a two-dimensional image, it will be converted to a 3D mesh. And we do the 3D registration by setting two corresponding alignment points in three-dimensional space. Set two corresponding alignment points on each of the left and right images. The greater the distance you choose between the points, the better the scaling result will be. You can adjust the point positions on both views by dragging the points. Proceed to Next. For 3D scan data, the view angle can be rotated by mouse right click and dragging. Fine tune the placement by moving the two points to correct image scaling and position. Drag and drop the image to pan. Note, the accuracy of this placement is not critical and is mainly for aesthetic preview. Proceed to next. Load the smile image. In the second step, we will match the converted 2D images. Set two corresponding alignment points on each of the left and right images. 
Proceed to next. Fine tune the placement by moving the two points to correct image scaling and position. Drag and drop the image to pan. Proceed to next. Draw a lip line to cut out the mouth. You can add points by mouse left click, using as many points as you require in order to fully capture all of the lip line. To close the line, double click and you can move the points by drag and drop. To remove, hold down the mouse left button and right click on the point. Proceed to the next step. In the helper step, it's important to start with the patient's right eye. Then click on the patient's left eye. By default, the golden ratio will be shown. You can modify this ratio by choosing a different proportion guide from the drop down menu. Helper lines can be moved, scaled, and rotated by dragging and dropping their control points. You can also add more helper lines using Add Lines and Curve. Smile curves can be added to determine the boundaries of the smile and can be adjusted according to the patient's lip line. You can show or hide patient smile image and patient retracted image by using Group Selector and clicking the desired checkbox. More horizontal lines can be added. To remove, hold down the mouse left button and click on the right button on the control point. You can add more vertical helplines for tooth axis guidance. Orientation free lines can be used for the cuspid profile lines. The upper lip line can also be added and modified. You can display the outline of the lip cutout. All helper lines can be displayed or hidden in the Show Hide window. You can scroll through them to select the desired line. Proceed to Next. In Modeling step, we do the tooth placement within the Smile Creator. Start by choosing a desired 3D tooth library from the list. Or use the arrows to toggle through the libraries. You can move between libraries by holding Ctrl while scrolling the mouse wheel. You can move the selected group, scale, or rotate the outlines from their control points. The upper right window shows the upper incisors view in 3D. You can toggle between full tooth view and outline view in each of the 3D windows. The middle right window shows the occlusal view in 3D. Any movement and adjustment will affect the teeth model and position in all the views. And the lower right window shows the side views in 3D. Adjustments can be applied to a group or to each individual tooth. You can easily move between windows to achieve the most desirable design. By selecting the mirror movements, symmetry will be preserved. The top and bottom middle control points scale in one direction. Left and right middle control points scale without changing the midline. And the corner control points scale in multiple directions. Open the freeforming dialog if further adjustments are required. You can choose Move Tooth Parts to edit mesial, distal, lingual, or any other part you desire. Hold and drag with the left mouse button to design. You can also choose Move Entire Tooth, Note. 
Useful hotkeys are available in tooth placement mode. Hold Shift to scale the tooth. Hold Control to rotate the tooth. Hold Control and Shift to rotate and scale the tooth in one direction. More details will be shown in a separate video. Click on the Measurements button to display the measurements and ratio of each tooth. If you change the outline view to Preview, you can take advantage of viewing the full anatomic shape of the tooth models. And by selecting Freeforming tool in this view, all the adjustments can be applied to the anatomic shape. If you wish to show the tooth models below the gingiva cervical line, use the full tooth mode instead of the preview. When you finish the tooth placement, proceed to the next step. In the preview step, we can improve the appearance of the teeth by adjusting the tooth colors. Select the shade from standard color presets. To mix shades, move between two shades while holding down mouse left button. Use the color tuning slider to match the color's brightness and contrast to the photo. If the standard color selection still doesn't fit perfectly, select custom color selection to use a color picker. Use this tool to pick a tooth base color and a tooth highlight color from the image. Tooth base color is the darkest part of the tooth shade and ideally should be selected from the body of the tooth or the color transition area from gingiva to incisal or mesial to distal. Tooth highlight color is the lightest part of the tooth shade and it can be selected from the incisal edge of any tooth. Note, selections can be made from the before or after images. Furthermore, you can adjust the hue, chroma, and value of the tooth base and highlight colors. Magic Lantern from the Tools options activates special lighting, which can change the direction of the light source. And by deselecting the moving button, the last position of the Magic Lantern window will be saved as the location of the light source. The final result can be copied as an image to the clipboard or saved as an image to a file in the current project folder. The results can be shared through WebView or as a 3D PDF. Note, the true smile rendering of the teeth is not supported by WebView or 3D PDF. Select Done to finish the smile planning. You can now proceed to design your restorations based on the smile creator. This will be shown in a separate video. Smile Design View in Custom View will help you to bring back the exact viewpoint you had during the smile design. You can select the Smile Design View at any time during the following design. 